EBITDA as a, as a uh, performance measure. I think um, if you look at all major rating agencies, there's not many of them that actually look at profitability of a company at a net profit level. Um, um, and that is because of the fact that items like depreciation and some, some interest costs are non-cash. Um, sometimes tax relating to deferred tax is non-cash. So they look at EBITDA and they look at a multiple of EBITDA to debt as an indicator of whether an organization has the ability to repay debts in the long term. Even if you look at interest, for example, they don't look at interest that's in the income statement, but they look at cash interest coverage ratios. Um, so that is one of the reasons why we look at EBITDA and our ability to generate EBITDA. And as I explained before, EBITDA is a very good indicator of cash profitability, which is cash generated from operations. So if you are growing EBITDA, you are certainly growing cash generated from operations equally. Uh, in terms of explaining the uh, reduction in profit, um, yes, I think there has been a decrease in profit. It is not unexpected. So it is within the plans of ESCOM to see this reduction in profitability. And the reason for that reduction in profitability is because of the fact that we have brought in new assets, being all the units that we spoke about on Madupi and Kusile. Those assets that come on stream obviously come on stream at a much higher uh, asset value than the old assets. And therefore, you see this increase in depreciation, firstly, because of the quantum of new assets and then the value of those new assets. Similarly, on the interest side, under IFRS, you are allowed to capitalize certain interest costs during the period of construction. As soon as those assets stop being constructed, that asset is no, those interest costs are no more required to be capitalized but need to be expensed. And that is why you see the increase in the, in the interest cost line. However, again, if you look at the calculation of cash interest cover, those, those interest costs that are actually capitalized are included in that cash interest cover definition. So from that perspective, the, the ratios that, we, that you see there, that is why you don't see a sharp decrease in the cash interest cover calculation, because it's always been into that, in that number.